joined by president of the Boston Bruins alumni, Rick Middleton. We also have Bruce Shoebottom, Kenny Hodge Jr. Nifty, another tournament. This time, a beautiful day. There's been some uh, some white the washes. I was up. just saying, I don't remember having bad weather, John. You? <laughs> no. I don't know. Was there washes? There was before? one season where sure it came it down to buckets. Well, let me just say, you guys you guys went early, so you don't remember. So, anyways, uh, Nifty, every year the Boston Bruins alumni does this tournament. Talk about this golf club and, and the tournament itself. Well, Jay Miller's nice enough. This is his club to offer the golf. Uh, not for free, well, we pay for it. You know, gotta, gotta let that know, but no, we get a, we get a cut rate. Um, the reason for the tournament is that so many guys do the charity tournaments in the summer where you play with people that you don't know. We thought it'd be nice to have a tournament where you just play with the guys on the team to thank them for doing 20 to 30 games a year all over New England with the driving and everything. It's nice just to get out with the guys, tell a few stories, have a few laughs. Absolutely. And Shu, good to see you back here, buddy. How's your game today? I saw you chip there. A lot of all double bogeys today, unfortunately, but we're going to iron it out in the back now. Well, that's the most you can get. To know. <laughs> that's exactly it. That's exactly it. So we're taking it out. But I uh, want to thank Jay and Paula for uh, putting us up here today. And we're going to have a good time at Jay's place after the round. We're just going to get the golf over with. Absolutely. Haji, <laughs> how are you doing today? How are you I'm doing, doing great. It was great. You know, great to play with these guys and uh, Kevin Foley as well. It's a lot of fun to be able to hit some golf balls around it. Try to stay out of trouble. Yeah. And how did you play in hockey this season with the alumni? Uh, how how was it for you? How's the well, uh, I finally got a star of the game. It took me uh, five years for Johnny to finally give me a star of the game. I don't know how many more points I could put up. <laughs> so At least a hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Just Sometimes a hat trick's not enough. That's right. That's right. That's right. Just like Jay <laughs> I, I should put that in the gift card. Sometimes a hat trick is not enough. Well, we have a star of the game. There's a gift certificate after every Bruins alumni game. And as I told them, I don't play the game. I don't know the game. I don't even watch the game. And they leave to me to make the first star. And I always get the wrong guy, even though I'm scoring the game. And Haji wearing number 10, because I think if we have four number 10. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. But when Haji scored, I always gave it to the other number yeah, 10. Yeah, Ricky Smith, wrong guy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, my dad well, played, well, shout out to Tresca with the gift certificate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. 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 Thank you, Ray. So, so if you look, though, back to the tournament here, getting the guys together, a lot of laughs, a lot yeah. of stories being told, a lot of hockey history. Um, we're all just very, very grateful to be able to be part of the Boston Bruins alumni and to our fans at home. Thank you so much for staying with us. Absolutely. A lot of laughs, a lot of love to it, you. Uh, like these golfers, they're so-so. So, so. so, <laughs> so. And, and training camps are only a couple months away. That's right, and it would be at Warrior Arena. Warrior Arena. Fingers crossed we don't make it. It's not a one-day camp, it's a one-hour camp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, look, back just uh, wrapping up the 22 season. Uh, first of all, I love the games down the bog, um, but the games at Warrior, what a professional staff. I love that rink, the Bruins practice facility yeah. in Brighton. We'll Sometimes, there. once getting out of there in the parking, you have to set aside two hours of yeah. your life, but aside from that. There's no leaving early in that case. <laughs> no. yeah. But, uh, but that was a great season. Thank you so much for what you did. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the year before, as you know, we only did 10 games during COVID, but we got 10 in, thanks to the guys showing up, playing in mass, hardly being able to breathe, but we did it. This year we did 21, so next year we're shooting for 30. And they were all videotaped and uh, televised, so they're on Boston Bruins Alumni TV. Yeah. So, so, now, the fake, fake news channel? <laughs> they're all fake news. <laughs> Contradict everything. So, so Nifty, um, talk about uh, your reign now is, is coming to a conclusion. Uh, Conclusion, a conclusion, a conclusion. I haven't had one. I swear to God. And but uh, and you, what a great run you had as president. Well, you know, I was lucky alumni. enough. I was vice president when Bob Sweeney took over the foundation. I just moved up 15 years ago, and you know it's been a lot of fun. We've traveled up to the Maritimes. We've uh, done the games with the Ranger alumni. I'm probably missing a few, but we've on average do about 25 games a year with the alumni. And I always say it's, it's, it's easy to be the president of this alumni because we have so many guys and so many guys like you that are making it a professional show. Now that we're doing the alumni TV, you do the in-game, in-arena, play-by-play, knows all the stats, but now he's on TV. So anybody that wants to tune into BruinsAlumni.com can listen to John and see John do our every game and very professional and Mark Willand who is the head of our media department. I was going to respond to that, but I just want to say, ah.